Nuestra época es portentosamente revolucionaria como no ha conocido la historia de la humanidad. Venimos a la vida intentando ser felices. In a remote location outside Montevideo, a humble president was running out of time. His term was coming to an end, and there was still no marijuana to supply his country. Pepe Mojica sent his best man on the most important secret mission in Uruguay's history. Travel to the U.S. to bring marijuana back to their country. Do you know where I can get some weed? Marijuana. Oh. An infiltration into America's marijuana industry. I'd like to turn to Alfredo Rodriguez, who's coming in from Uruguay, since they've now just gone to a national legalization. A huge hoax from a tiny and, country. Uh, and what do you do, Alfredo? I am the president of the Uruguayan Chamber of Legal Marijuana. Should I speak to you or to the camera? It's me, you're fine. But Alfredo was not alone. His mother has his back. I come from the first country in the world that legalized marijuana. I'm afraid that I'm getting into the business of the narcos. Reinforcement arrived. Many people in the country are consumers. I am. I want to uh, welcome President Mujica to the Oval Office in the White House. We need 50 tons of marijuana a year. That's a lot. But things get complicated. Trade in marijuana from the United States is, is always illegal. And take an unusual turn. We are offering you not a city, but a country. For an unusual president. The leader of the free world is tricked by the poorest president on earth. Don't trust anybody unless you know them. Is this Alemán? Go 10, go 10, front it. Yo me pasé 15 años en un calabozo. A master plan from Pepe Mojica to bring marijuana to his people. Official mission. The secret story of marijuana legalization. My pharmacy was the first one to give marijuana to users. We started with brownies, are very famous in Uruguay. I was here in Kant. No se consigue borro entonces. Claro que todo el mundo lo hace, pero yo no sé dónde carajo venden eso. Help us finish the movie.